In a stunning turn of events, the world watches as the stage is set for a revelation that could reshape history. The spotlight now falls on Benjamin Netanyahu, the charismatic leader at the center of an electrifying controversy. Rumors swirl that he is on the verge of unveiling the long-awaited Jewish Messiah. Is this the moment prophesied for millennia? Are we on the brink of a divine intervention that will redefine faith, politics, and destiny? As speculation reaches a fever pitch, hearts race and skepticism clashes with anticipation. The world teeters on the edge of an extraordinary revelation that could forever alter our understanding of the cosmos. Prepare for a paradigm-shifting announcement that will leave no one untouched. Religious speculation, a claim has emerged, captivating the attention of both Jews and Christians alike. A rabbi's belief suggests that the revelation of the Jewish Messiah is imminent, drawing upon an astronomical event predicted for 2023. This extraordinary assertion has not only piqued the curiosity of believers, but has also ignited fervent discussions, particularly among Christians who perceive it as a potential sign of the long-awaited second coming of Jesus. Join us on an enthralling journey as we delve into the life of Jesus, unravel the distinctions between true and false messiahs, and unravel the enigmatic cosmic tapestry that intertwines faith and prophecy. In recent years, predictions and interpretations of astronomical events have gained attention, often intertwining with religious and spiritual beliefs. While the specific details of the predicted astronomical event mentioned in the prompt are not provided, we can delve into some hypothetical possibilities and their implications. One potential interpretation of the predicted astronomical event could be a rare alignment of celestial bodies, such as planets, stars, or galaxies. Throughout history, people have associated celestial alignments with significant events or divine messages. Ancient civilizations, for instance, often regarded celestial phenomena as omens or indicators of societal changes. In the context of the claim connecting Netanyahu with the Jewish Messiah, a rare celestial alignment might be viewed as a symbolic sign, prompting speculation about the fulfillment of messianic prophecies or the arrival of a significant figure. However, it is essential to note that scientific observations of celestial alignments do not inherently possess religious or messianic implications. Such events are part of the natural dynamics of the cosmos and can be explained through astronomical calculations and celestial mechanics. Another possibility for the predicted astronomical event could involve the appearance of a prominent comet or visible supernova. Throughout history, celestial objects such as comets and supernovae have captured the attention and imagination of people, often associated with divine messages or cosmic significance. The sudden appearance of a bright comet or a visible supernova might be interpreted as a cosmic sign, leading to various religious and spiritual interpretations. In the context of the claim regarding Netanyahu and the Jewish Messiah, such an event might be seen as a confirmation or a harbinger of messianic fulfillment. It is important to recognize that comets and supernovae are natural astronomical phenomena with scientific explanations. Comets are composed of icy bodies that periodically approach the sun, developing a characteristic tail, while supernovae occur when massive stars reach the end of their lives and explode with tremendous energy. Although these events can be visually striking and evoke awe, attributing specific religious or messianic meanings to them goes beyond the realm of scientific inquiry. The predicted astronomical event could be associated with symbolic elements rather than specific astronomical occurrences. Symbolism in celestial phenomenon has been prevalent across cultures and religions, often representing concepts such as enlightenment, transformation, or the connection between the earthly and the divine. In the context of the claims surrounding Netanyahu and the Jewish Messiah, symbolism within the predicted astronomical event might be interpreted through the lens of messianic expectations. For instance, if the event coincides with a celestial phenomenon traditionally associated with divine intervention or the dawning of a new era, it could fuel speculation and religious interpretation. 
It is essential to exercise caution when attributing specific meanings to symbolic celestial phenomena. Symbolism is highly subjective and can vary across different cultural and religious contexts. While it can be a source of inspiration and reflection, it should not be taken as definitive evidence of specific religious claims or predictions. The claim connecting Benjamin Netanyahu with the revelation of the Jewish Messiah in the predicted astronomical event has drawn particular attention among Christians, as it has been interpreted by some as a possible sign of the second coming of Jesus. This section will delve into the implications of such a claim for Christians, considering the concept of the second coming and its theological significance. The second coming of Jesus Christ holds immense importance in Christian eschatology. It is believed to be the culmination of history, wherein Jesus will return to earth in glory and power. Christians anticipate that during the second coming, Jesus will establish the kingdom of God, judge humanity, and bring about the consummation of God's redemptive plan. The claim linking Netanyahu with the Jewish Messiah and its potential connection to the Second Coming has sparked interest among Christians who fervently await the return of Jesus. For some, it may evoke a sense of anticipation and hope, as they interpret the claim as a possible sign of the nearing fulfillment of biblical prophecies. While the claim may generate excitement and curiosity, it is crucial for Christians to approach it with discernment and caution. Jesus himself emphasized that the timing of his second coming is known only to the Father and cautioned against attempts to predict it or speculate about it. Matthew chapter 24 verse 36, Matthew chapter 24 verses 42 to 44. Therefore, Christians are called to remain vigilant, focusing on living faithfully and being prepared for his return rather than fixating on specific predictions or signs. It is essential to differentiate between genuine signs of the Second Coming and sensational claims that can lead to misunderstanding or disappointment. Christian teachings emphasize the need for discernment and a steadfast adherence to the teachings of Jesus and the Bible, rather than relying solely on external signs or predictions. Christian interpretations of the Second Coming can vary across denominations and theological traditions. Some Christians hold a premillennialist view, expecting the second coming to occur before a literal thousand-year reign of Christ on earth. Others adhere to an amillennialist or postmillennialist perspective, viewing the thousand-year reign symbolically or as an ongoing spiritual reality in the present age. Given the diverse interpretations of the second coming, it is important for Christians to engage in respectful dialogue and open-mindedness when considering such claims as the one associating Netanyahu with the Jewish Messiah. Different theological perspectives and traditions may shape how Christians approach and interpret these claims, leading to a range of responses and levels of acceptance. Regardless of varying beliefs about the Second Coming, Christians universally recognize the centrality of Jesus Christ in their faith. The life, teachings, death, and resurrection of Jesus hold profound significance and shape the foundation of Christian belief. While the claim regarding Netanyahu and the Jewish Messiah may captivate attention, it is essential to reflect on the life of Jesus and his teachings. Jesus' message emphasized love, compassion, justice, in the establishment of God's kingdom on earth. Christians are called to follow his example, seeking to embody his teachings and live lives that reflect the values of the kingdom of God. The claim associating Benjamin Netanyahu with the Jewish Messiah and its potential implications for Christians sparks contemplation and discussion within Christian communities. While it may engender anticipation among those eagerly awaiting the second coming of Jesus, Christians are encouraged to approach such claims with discernment and caution, keeping in mind Jesus' own teachings about the unknown timing of his return. One significant aspect of exploring the claim linking Benjamin Netanyahu with the Jewish Messiah is gaining a deeper understanding of the life of Jesus and the distinctions between his actions and those of previous false messiahs. 
This understanding sheds light on the unique role and significance of Jesus in Christian belief and helps differentiate him from historical figures who made false claims of being the Messiah. Jesus' teachings and message serve as a fundamental aspect that sets him apart from previous false messiahs. His words were marked by wisdom, compassion, and radical love. Jesus emphasized the importance of love for God and love for one's neighbor as the core principles of his teachings. Matthew chapter 22 verses 36 to 40. His ethical teachings, such as the Sermon on the Mount, emphasize humility, forgiveness, peacemaking, and the pursuit of righteousness. The depth and moral power of Jesus' teachings resonate with Christians across time and place, making him a unique figure among those who have claimed to be the Messiah. One distinguishing characteristic of Jesus' ministry was the performance of miracles that displayed divine authority. These miracles included healing the sick, restoring sight to the blind, raising the dead, and even controlling natural elements. The Gospels present these miraculous acts as evidence of Jesus' divine nature and his messianic mission. The demonstration of such extraordinary power set Jesus apart from previous false messiahs who lacked the ability to perform genuine miracles or display divine authority. These miraculous acts affirm Jesus' unique role as the Son of God, bringing hope, healing, and restoration to those who encountered him. Jesus' life and ministry fulfilled numerous messianic prophecies found in the Hebrew Bible. These prophecies include his birth in Bethlehem, Micah chapter 5 verse 2, being a descendant of David, Isaiah chapter 11 verse 1, his miraculous deeds, Isaiah chapter 35 verses 5 through 6, his suffering and crucifixion, Isaiah chapter 53, and his resurrection, Psalm chapter 16 verse 10. Unlike false messiahs who could not demonstrate the fulfillment of these prophecies, Jesus' life aligned with and fulfilled them, providing substantial evidence for his messianic claim. As we conclude this exploration into the belief surrounding Benjamin Netanyahu in the revelation of the Jewish Messiah, it is important to approach such claims with discernment and critical thinking. While the intersection of astronomical events and religious prophecy can spark intrigue, the true essence of faith lies in the life teachings, and transformative power of Jesus Christ. The distinctions between Jesus and previous false messiahs highlight his unique role in Christian belief while reminding us to focus on living out his teachings of love, compassion, and righteousness. May this journey foster understanding, inspire dialogue, and deepen our appreciation for the diverse tapestry of faith. Don't miss out on captivating content and thought-provoking discussions. Hit that subscribe button and join our community today. Stay up to date with the latest videos on faith, prophecy, and the significance of Jesus in our lives.